In a previous video, I looked at the four categories of vector equations that is common to 2D and 3D space. In this video, we're just going to look at the final example, skew vectors, which is only applicable in three-dimensional space. In skew vectors, the direction vectors of the equations are not scalar multiples of one another, and they do not intersect. To further that point, okay, we have to therefore demonstrate for skew vectors, not only that they don't intersect, but also that they are not parallel. However, it also has implications when we're finding perpendicular vectors in 3D space, because you can still have scenarios where the dot product is zero, but the lines do not intersect. We do not consider those lines to be perpendicular, we consider them to be skew. Perpendicular lines have a point of intersection at the right angle. So, to show that these lines are skew, the first thing I want to demonstrate is that they aren't parallel, because parallel lines will never meet. So, what we want to see, and what we do see, is that the direction vectors are not scalar multiples. So, they are not parallel. If we look at the dot product of the direction vectors, we actually see that it's zero. So maybe these lines are perpendicular. We can see from the diagram in this um, on the screen there that they don't intersect. Right? There's no point of intersection, but that's hard to tell without a diagram. So we also have to show that this is not the case. So we set the two vector equations equal to one another, and we get the equations for each component. Rearranging that gives us that s is negative 3. From our second equation, if s is negative 3, then t is 5. And from our third equation, that is not true. Therefore, there is no point of intersection. And so the vectors are skewed.